hello there guys welcome to another video of mine and uh today i'm going to be discussing something other than football or soccer or whatever um i'm going to be talking to you about my job corps experience um i signed up for job corps in 2016 and um yeah uh I didn't know what I was going to do uh, with my life because I went for the army, but um, something happened. I'm not gonna get into into that what happened, but basically I got denied uh, into the uh, navy, and uh, so I didn't know what I was gonna do. I had just graduated school, and um, yeah, um, my uncle recommended me going to Shank or signing up for Job Corps and uh, wind up going to Shank. I had to wait six months before I actually got there. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I got there February, February 7th was my input date. And um, I mean, I was, I was a bit nervous that I didn't know what to, um, to what I was gonna experience. I had seen some reviews online about it but it was all from people who didn't complete the program or who didn't uh who didn't uh, i don't know get the best out of it or whatever it was all negative reviews and some of them weren't really descriptive of what you were going to face or experience and um yeah um Job Corps is really what you make it make out of it. Um, I know you've heard that before, but uh, it's pretty much what it is. It's what you make out of it. And uh, yeah, I went there, and I didn't even know what trade I was going to get. But um, one second, I'm going to show you. Um, but basically, I took on the welding program, uh, Well Gang for Life. You already know. Uh, one second, I'm going to show you my uh, my. Uh, certificates and stuff. Um, not all of them, but some of them. Um, but yeah, I got this. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but I am a certified welder. And um, yeah, I had already gotten my high school diploma, as I said earlier in the video. And, um, oh, yeah, um, when you get there, you're gonna be, uh, with, you're gonna meet with five, ten people in your input group. Me, personally, when I first got there, I was the only one there for my input for a good minute, for, like, six hours. I got there, like, ten o'clock in the morning, and, um, everyone else got there about two o'clock, three o'clock, and some came at nine o'clock and um we only had about eight people in our input when we were expecting like 17 but some decided not to come and one showed up and left on the same day uh i guess he figured it wasn't for him but uh yeah basically um basically um what you do is you you have five weeks they give you five weeks um to kind of get used to the program decide what you wanted to do if you're not not sure what you want to do and um yeah you go through this little cpp program um the first two weeks they kind of bring you in through the rules and stuff you gotta go through the rules and they show you around campus and um they make you do uh like this little certif mini certification about customer service just something to give you to give you something to do, I guess, uh, while you wait. And then um, your last two weeks of CPP, you uh, you have kitchen duty, and um, which is pretty much where 95% of the people get kicked out of the program because it is very stressful. Um, I personally, I should have been kicked out uh, during this part because um, people like we had to do this little thing uh, where it's called the dish pit. You know, when people uh, take their dishes after they're done eating and they put it in the dish pit and you wash them and clean them some people would throw their trays at us and stuff and you know i don't take that you know that's not me i don't like that i'm not a dog you're not gonna throw food at me it's two things you can't do to me 
and that's spit on me and throw food at me because I'm not a dog. And uh, yeah, um, after you get through that experience, uh, try to at least, um, you're going to go through. Um, you're gonna, I guess your your top trade. First of all, hold up, I skipped a part. Okay, before you your um your kitchen duty, they give you um they give you three trades to choose from. You're gonna shadow those trades, and you're gonna pick a trade. And um, after you get done with your CBP, if you don't, if you see me personally, once I was done with kitchen duty, I went straight to trade because I had already had my my uh, diploma and stuff. But um. Um, what you do is before you uh, go through the um, the kitchen patrol thing, you have to go uh, and tape out, which is basically you take a test and you have to score a certain amount of uh, certain amount of points on it before you can uh, do trade or anything. And um, I taped out first try, not not, not to brag or anything, but um, so I went straight to trade after after I was done with. The CPP uh, program part, and um, yeah, um, I uh, sorry, um, I had um, I decided I was going to welding, and um, yeah, it was a fun experience. I personally liked the welding program because the manager, uh, not the manager, but the um, the instructor, RIP. Um, yeah, he, he recently passed away like two days ago, but, uh, yeah, he, um, I like the way he ran the program. He really didn't, he wasn't all on top of you. He let you learn, learn by yourself and, um, you know, trial and error. You try new things. If you need help, he'll ask you. I mean, he'll help you, but he lets you do you and let you learn by yourself, which I thought helped me in the long run. Um, and, um. Yeah, but basically, after you get through the CPP part, you go through the education, you tape out, and if you tape out and you haven't got your diploma, you'll be 50-50 trade, you'll do 50%. Uh, you'll do one week uh, education, and one week, um, one week you'll do um, trade, and you'll switch, keep switching, keep switching. And they always make sure you don't go, like, you won't be, like, 60% down with education and only... 10% down with trade, they'll make sure that you don't go uh, too far from each other, so it'd be like, kind of like, uh, they make sure you don't go 20% over the um, trade and education ratio, ratio. so if you're like, you, you only can be like 40% down with education and 20% down with uh, trade, and if you go past that, they make you, uh, like say for example, you, you're 40% down with education and only 10% down trade, they'll make you do full-time trade until you catch up and make it more balanced, I guess. And, um, yeah, uh, honestly, you're going to meet a lot of weird people. I'm just letting you know now. And if you're homophobic, which I'm not, and I'm not gay, by the way, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, you're going to meet a lot of people that are, uh, are, you know, and um, you're gonna have to tolerate that because I have people in my input who got kicked out because of that. He, um, I'm not gonna say his name, but he he had an experience with this guy, and um, at this other program called Target Challenge, and uh, they, they they their showers are like together. They don't have privacy or whatever, so uh, they shower together and stuff. Not not like that, but they showered in the same, at the same time in the same room and uh, he didn't know he was gay but uh he wound up punching the dude when he met him at, at the job court and he got kicked out for that and uh yeah it, it was stupid because uh the guy had told us that uh this was his last option he didn't have it he didn't have a home or anything so you know if he got kicked out he was going to be homeless and uh, i just i was like well why would you why would you do that if you knew this the whole time but uh yeah, uh, so you gotta be very, very tolerant of other people because you're gonna meet a lot of people with different personalities, but you're also gonna meet people that you connect with. You know, personally, um, even if you don't like have the same 
uh, interests as the people in your input, you're always going to have like that special bond because those are the people you met first. And they basically have, you know, experienced the same thing you experienced at the exact same time. So you always have that bond between your, uh, your input group. And, um, yeah, uh, you go through trade, you go through education, and, um, you know, they pay you two weeks, every two weeks. It's not much. It's not much. You start, your first paycheck would be $25 or something like that, and then your second check, they're going to, uh, for your, your trade clothes, they're going to take uh, about $10 away from you, and you're only going to get, like, $16 or something like that. And, um every three three to six months you get a pay raise or something like that and um i wind up getting 30 some uh, 32 something a week but uh i didn't stay there long i only stayed there for like uh seven months and um yeah it's, it's, it's what you make you gotta stay stay away from the drama and all that because uh you shouldn't you shouldn't be focused on uh getting getting girls or whatever because trust me those, those girls are fast and uh 99 percent of them are not marriage marriage material so it's only temporary so you need you shouldn't just focus on these these people and um because i've seen a lot of people get